10 a.m. All right, sir. The reason you received a call, sir, is just to inform you that an arrest warrant has been issued on you into a matter of tax evasion and tax defraud by the IRS. Are you aware about this, about the situation, sir? No, I'm not. I have, I have no clue what you're talking about. Except that they All right, call. No problem. I'm here to help you out. Can you help me with your first seventy loss and so I can verify you and I can help in the situation, sir? Okay, my first name is Bob and my last name is Dole. D O L E. Bob Dole. Fine. It's like B O B Bob and the last name is Paul, like B O L E, right? No, uh, the first name is Bob, like you said, B O B. The last name is Dole. D O L E. Bob Dole. Like D as in David, O as in Oscar, right? Correct. Okay. Mr. Bob, can you help me with your mailing address or your residential address, please? So I can verify you. Okay, 16823 San Jose Street, Granada Spell Hills. Spell that for me, sir. 16823. 16823 San Jose, S A N J O S E, San Jose Street, Granada Hills, California, 91344. What was your name, sir? My name is Officer Zach Parker with the Crime Investigation Department. I am working for the headquarters of the IRS with Bob. Your first name is Zach? Zach, and the last name is Parker. Park Zach Parker. Parker. Uh, yeah, you can, you can call me like Officer Parker. Okay, Officer right. Parker. Like Porky Parker, right? Okay. It's like, yeah, that's right. Yes, sir. Got it. Okay. P-A-R-K-E-R. -E yeah, P-A-R-K-E-R. Yeah, that's right. Got it. Okay. You want a bad number? You can also write down a bad shiny number. Yeah, I'll take your one, bitch two. number. What is it? Uh-huh. It's 1372. 1372. 2, 5. 2, 5. 1372. 2, 5. 3, right? That's right, sir. Okay. That's right, sir. Okay. So, Bob, can you help me with your uh, date of birth, please? Your D-O-B? Oh, D-O-B. Date of birth is January 1st, 1955. All right, okay, all right, okay, all right. So Bob, now first of all, the reason you received the call from my department is just to let you know that there is an arrest warrant under your name in the matter of tax evasion and tax defraud. Are you aware about the situation, Mr. Bob? No, I'm not aware of this situation at all because uh, I had Turban Tax do my taxes for me. Okay, Bob, no problem. First of all, Bob, let me inform you that IRS never told you to go down and hurry at Turban Taxes to file your taxes. It was your decision. It is clearly mentioned in the tax awareness websites of the IRS that even your tax file is prepared by someone else on behalf of you. You would be the whole and sole responsible for every single information by the Turban Taxes on behalf of you, whether the information is right or wrong. Okay, so Bob, so you are the one who gonna, so we're gonna be concerned with about this case or because the tax filings are under your own name, Bob. Okay? Uh, yeah, Turban Tax made a mistake. It was, it was, wasn't intentional. Tur Turban Tax did it, uh, uh, honestly. It was a mistake. Okay, Bob, but uh, we, we don't know who made a mistake, Mr. Turban Mr. Bob, Tax, dude. But you have to resolve this case for yourself because the Turbo Taxes, we won't be contacting the Turbo Taxes. They are the third parties. We don't have any concern with them because the tax filings are under your name. That service in the arrest warrant is also under your name, Mr. Bob. So can okay? I. S yeah, so can I sue Turban Tax for doing this for me? Can I sue them? Yes, you can do that. Good, yeah, I'm going to. Case, I'm going to take them to the Bob, goat Bob. house. I'm going to do it. I'm, yes, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm going to take them. I'm going to sue them and take them to the goat house. That's Go fine. Okay. Once you resolve this case, you can sue them. Once you resolve this case, you can sue them. Because right now, I rather sue you for that. All right? Because you haven't paid, paid a tax. So yeah, I'm going to sue. Once you resolve this case out. I'm going to uh -huh. sue them for like $100,000. I'm going to sue them for that much. Fine. Why? Fine. Be because uh -huh. they, they made a mistake on my taxes. Turban tax uh -huh. is going to get sued uh -huh. by me. 
fine. Okay. So, sir, Mr. Bob, right now, you do whatever you want to do after this case is resolved. So, Mr. Bob, what do you want to do because an amount of three Slob days... Slob on the knob? ...and your name? Yeah, go on. Yeah. So, Bob, an amount of $3,000 and your name which you owe to the IRS because if you do not pay $3,000 in the next 30 minutes, you are the one who is going to be behind the bars for the next five years and you won't be able to shoot the terrible taxes then. And you'll be behind the bars, you'll lose every single thing which is under your name. I won't be able to what sue Turban Tax at all? How much do I owe? $3,000. $3,000 even? Yes, sir. $3,000 this way. $3,000.23 as well. And if I go to the goat house and fight it, what happens then? Then you'll be behind the bars then, Bob. You'll be behind the bars for the next five years. And how much is the fine on be, being behind the bars? What? I said, how much is the fine if I go behind bars? How much do I owe in the fines? You'll be, $75,000, IRS will sue you for that. $75, See, that's why I said I'd sue, sue turban tax for 100000 That's why I said that earlier. Because I knew I could recoup that money. Zach Parker, did you know that? Oh. You're going to sue me? You're going to sue me? No! I said I'm going to sue turban tax. Who did my taxes? Uh -huh. Yeah, turban. So, Mr. Bob, first of all, I don't care. What are you gonna do over there? What do you? Have okay, to do you don't sir? care. I don't care either. Okay. Okay, so, I understand. What do you wanna do? You wanna resolve the case or not? I wanna resolve the case. I wanna pay, pay the three thousand dollars so I don't have to go to the goat house. Okay. So, Bob, now first of all, do you really want to resolve this case and don't want to get arrested, right? No, I don't want to get arrested, man. So you have to pay this amount of three thousand dollars in the next thirty minutes. To an IRS officer as well as to a local sheriff. Okay, Bob? Do I, okay, so I go to the local sheriff and pay the local sheriff $3,000? No, That's what I thought you said. No, Bob. Now, first of all, the local sheriff are now the tax collection agencies. They can't collect the taxes. Everyone do have the different jobs with them. Okay? So I'm going to instruct you how you need to make the payment step by step. But in fact, in the next 45 minutes, you're going to meet an IRS officer as well as a local sheriff at your place at 16823 San Jose Street, California 91344. You'll be at your doorstep with all the paperwork and documentations to have an appointment with you. Once they are at your door place, you just have to meet with them and you just have to make the payments to them of $3,000. So they are the one who want to get the skills resolved for you, Bob. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, Bob, first of all, if you want to resolve this case, you're not allowed to go in and hand over this kind of $3,000 in cash with to them. So, you have to go to a federal store to convert your payments. You have to buy some tax pay vouchers to make the payments to the IRS. So, do you know any of the federal stores nearby you where you can buy these federal vouchers from, Bob? Uh, no, I don't know any, uh, any, uh, the, okay, Bob. of those you things. That you have $3,000 in cash or in debit card or credit card, right? Uh, I have a monster card. Do you take that? Baseball card, football cards, basketball cards, soccer cards. What? Yeah. What? Do you, do you take iTunes cards, Steam cards, birthday cards? Yes, I take Steam cards. Do you have Steam cards? Oh, you do take Steam cards. Do you take you iTunes cards too? Birthday cards, no. wedding cards? No. Um, 52 deck cards. No? no, but but you take a steam. You'll take a steam card, but not an iTunes card, correct? Yes. Because they only have iTunes cards in this store I'm in right now. I'm in a Walmart. Oh, okay, so you can buy iTunes for a hundred dollars on it. You know, like 30 of them for hundred dollars, okay? You, wait, wait, you said you didn't take iTunes cards. You took only Steam cards. If you can buy Steam, you can also buy Steam cards, okay? Okay, I'll go to Steam cards. I'll go to GameStop. They have Steam cards there. Can I go to... Oh, wow. Yeah. That uh, is Bow Wow. Bow Wow Wow. Bow Wow Wow. G-P-A-I-A. What? What were you saying, sir? I'll get you a wrist, Bob, okay? Bye-bye.
arrest. Okay, I'm gonna go to the goat house and fight it. How's that? I'll, I'll get you arrested because you're trying to be a responsible friend of me. Okay, bye. No, uh, I'm I'm going to the goat house. I'm gonna take Cheddar with me. How's that? Do you want to do you want to pay with stream card? I want to pay. Want I to want to pay with the iTunes cards. Okay, I'll transfer this call to one of my paralegal officers to tell you what you have to do, okay? That'd be great. Okay. Okay. Uh, and you have to pay her with iTunes and stream, okay? What are these costs? Where are you right now, first of all? Are you at home or Walmart is Target? Where I'm, are you? I'm, I'm at home right now. So you told me that you, you told me that you were in Walmart. I okay. was, but I left that place. <laughs> now I'm at home. Let me talk to your senior officer, Zach Parker. That's right. That's right. Okay. He put me on hold. I got him on mute. You like that? Beach Boys. Yeah. I saw them in, in uh, Eugene, Oregon. They're awesome, man. Go check the Beach Boys out if you've seen them. Also, share, like, and subscribe to my channel. I got him to say the goat house. Hopefully he doesn't hang up on me. He's got me on hold. I love it. Got him on mute. He can't hear me. This is great. <laughs> Thanks for your time and patience, Mr. Parbiber. Uh, yes, I am. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, sir. Oh, what? what's your name, uh, miss? My name is Carol. Wait, wait. Carol Wayne? No, it's Carol Smith. Carol Smith? Yep. Are you related to Joseph Smith, the prophet no, of the no. Mormon Church? You are? That's awesome. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm not. You're not? Oh, you have a, no. you have a sassy voice. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You have a very sassy yeah. voice. Yes. Okay. Carol Smith. Okay, I got it. Okay, okay. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, one more ting. I, I lost my pen. One more ting. I lost my pen. What? Ch Cheddar, Cheddar, Cheddar was doing my taxes today. Okay, all right. Okay. Ah! Miss Carol hung up. Wasted a little bit of their time. Thank you all for watching. Beach Boys, remember, check them out. They're awesome. Good group in the 60s. Carol Smith messed up. <laughs> oh, she wouldn't let me take Cheddar to the goat house. Oh, well, that's okay. I'll call the IRS back on Monday. Uh... I didn't do a YouTube yesterday. I was kind of burnt out. Because I did tech support the night before. And that was a pretty good one. But, uh, anyway. Please, down below, like, share, and subscribe. I need, I, I still hear the scratching in my voice on these uh, YouTube videos for my webcam. I gotta get another cheap webcam uh, so that the scratching hopefully will go away. I hope it's not in my computer and I don't think it is. I think the, the webcam is kind of old. So I want to replace my web, webcam because my voice is scratching. In a, in a lot of these videos and I don't like it so I'm gonna go to Walmart and try and see if I can get a cheap cheap webcam for a little over what twenty dollars or something like that and this is focusing weird too but it's a Logitech and it's an old one and they're selling them down cheaper now when I, than when I paid for them I'm rambling. There's going to be a weekend where I'm going to do a ramble rant, rant. So stay tuned for that. Maybe next weekend I'll do that. And also next week maybe I'll do a AOL prank call. Because you need to check those out. The AOL prank calls that I did, you need to check them out. They're really 
really pretty good. Any shout outs to my grandson who just had his birthday? That that one is going up Sunday, I think. Sunday I'm gonna put that up. Eric Matthias' birthday of last week is gonna be played on Sunday. So it's not a no scam baiting this weekend unless they call me tomorrow like they did at one time. Was it a Grant called me or I can't remember. One of the scammers called me on a Saturday, but I haven't been called since, so that's pretty good. That was about a month ago or so. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Take care, and we'll talk uh, Monday, and I'll put that video up on Sunday, but not scam baiting. God bless everyone. I love all you subscribers. Please hit that bell notification down there. Let you know that I've uploaded a new video. Have a great weekend, everyone. It's Friday. Take care. Enjoy the weekend. And we'll talk on Monday. And we'll put that video up on Sunday. This Sunday for the birthday party of Eric Mathias, my grandson. Oh, I use the Bob Dole name because Amanda J or someone was it her? Uh, one of these women told me to use Bob Dole and so I did it. Bob Dole today. Anyway, thank you all. Bye bye.